Uh, really excited to uh, host a regional here in, I guess, the last 14 years. More excited about uh, um, and thankful for the work that uh, Greg Tipton and uh, uh, Brandon Lee has done to get the field prepared and all the help that we've had to get the field prepared for regional. I mean, you can see the teamwork of the University of Oklahoma at its best if you were here three days ago compared to today. So I'm really excited about that and looking forward to a good weekend. How have you seen the guys just bounce back just in terms of kind of a refocusing going into this week? I mean, it's been uh, uh, all hands on deck. They've been uh, doing their routines every day since we've been back. So, uh, uh, I mean, I think they're focused and ready to go and get ready to play. Um, it's no different than any other weekend. It's just a baseball game. It's uh, 60 feet, 6 inches, and it's 90 feet bases, and you got to go out and have fun and get after it and, uh, and play with an edge. Yeah, so obviously the decision or what goes into deciding how to handle the pitching with Braden and Tyson kind of figuring out that whole dynamic, what kind of goes into deciding how you want to approach that? Well, I looked at your Twitter and uh, that's how I decided to throw Kyson <laughs> today. Uh, since you uh, said we're going to throw Kyson, so I was like, you know what, we'll gamble. I like to gamble a little bit and we'll throw Kyson. I think he's good enough to go out and pitch and uh, uh, we'll, we'll decide to do that. You know, I mean, he's uh, one of our guys and uh, uh, we'll, we'll throw him and see what happens. Skip, what's it been like to see that growth from Kyson over the year, transitioning from a leader to starter, and how much better do you think he needs to get? I think that's been really good. It's one of the uh, blessings. Uh, I said, uh, somebody asked me yesterday about uh, uh, what one guy that's probably him and Malachi in, in, that's impacted our team and how much they've grown from uh, uh, when they first got here to, to today and, uh, uh, um, you know, getting those guys to, to – uh, do something different, you know, like Kyson's been a starter. Malachi was really good, and he, he got a hit, he had, had a struggle a little bit last year, and him to buy in to doing what he's done has been really good. But Kyson's been, been really good, and watch his growth as he goes through it. We kind of knew, you know, going into going into the year that he was really good, and hopefully that he'll move into the starting role, and that's what he's done, and he's picked some other guys up, and that's what our team is really about is picking each other up. He said, I know Scott's been behind the plate for a lot of Kyson starts, but just what have you seen kind of from that, that catching perspective his growth? Of uh, Kyson? Yeah. Yeah, Kyson, he's been obviously really good. Obviously, he started off as a reliever, but uh, I mean, to able to plow away, I mean, there's been some outings that not necessarily gone his way, and he's just continued to plow and continue to, to just execute a pitch and just end up piecing together some really good starts for us. And, and yeah, I mean, he's grown up, and, and it's really been fun to watch that. I mean, because he could easily fold in some times, and he didn't. So he's really showed just kind of the grit and toughness he has. John, you were on the postseason run. Uh, you know, you guys didn't have this home advantage. Uh, you know, what are you looking forward to about you know getting to play these games here at home? Um, yeah, it's super special. It's something me and my teammates have been talking about um, since I got here to school, and to be able to have the opportunity to play at home is uh, is going to be really cool. I know Sooner Nation is going to show out. Um, we've got high expectations for them, and uh, you know, as a uh, clubhouse and you know all the players and the staff, uh, it, it means a lot to us to to be able to play in our home ballpark for the first time in the postseason in 14 years. Skip, when you think about the 2022 team, you think about this team. Is there a common thread in terms of either the way these guys have played throughout the season, or just the mentality that they've had? Do you see anything that's kind of similar? I think the mentality is a lot alike. I think the. Uh, how they care about each other is a lot alike. I think there's a lot of similarities in that, but it's a different team. I mean, those guys, uh, uh, Spike's three years older, Jay Nick's three years older, Kenny's three years older, and those guys are, uh, uh, you know, they've been our leaders for most of the year. And so uh, uh, even some of the guys that were here that are in the bullpen, I think Carter Campbell, um, uh, Atwood, uh, uh, Jet Lotus, and those guys been around it a lot. I think those guys will help those guys and experience it and understand what it means to be a team. I mean, you can have the best players in the world. If they don't have the right attitude, you're not ever going to be any good. I think these guys have the right attitude to, to keep playing. And uh, no matter what happens this weekend, we've, we've done some successful things. I mean, we get to have fun. We get after it. We play with an edge. That's a part of our culture. It's what we do. Uh, it's kind of the, what we talk about, the chaos culture. And so uh, we're, we're, not, we're just going to go out and play, and, and whatever happens, happens. John, what maybe sticks out for you in that regard in terms of just some of the things that feel a little bit similar? Um, I, 
think you got a group that loves to play uh, play the game and loves to play with each other again. Um, that makes it a lot easier to perform well when, when guys are playing for the guy next to them and, and not for themselves. Um, you know, Skip always talks about playing with an edge, and I think that's something that that 22 team brought, and that's something that this team uh, is continuing to bring. So, you know, we're, we're similar in that aspect, and you know, obviously pretty talented as well. So, I imagine the expectations, you know, externally are a little bit different. You know, now that you're hosting than back there in the 22 run. Uh, yeah, I mean, obviously the the expectation every year is to win the national championship. I think whether we're playing a regional on the road, uh, like in Florida or Virginia last year, or whether we're here at home um, hosting, I, I don't think the, the expectation changes at all um, because, you know, we're, we're trying to win a, a national championship at the end of the day, so. Mike, between you, Mather, Jay Watt, and Rob Rose, you guys have all made at least one great catch in the outfield. How has Reggie helped each of you develop into high-caliber players out there? Yeah, I think just having a routine for defensive work in, in the outfield um, has been something that's been taught to us and you know in high school or coming up the outfielders don't really have those you know you just go out there and catch your fly balls your ground balls and stuff but uh, doing the same things every day and paying attention to little details and stuff that that make you better at, at those plays in the game uh, that that helps a lot and he's helped a lot with that Skip obviously a lot of familiarity with Oral Roberts just maybe what are some things from the first two games you can kind of keep in mind or apply to tomorrow they're an aggressive team. They're, they know us well, too. Uh, some things that you have to look at. Um, I think they're well coached. Uh, uh, they got some guys that are coming back from an Omaha team, and uh, uh, it'll be a good game. And I mean, they're, they're not going to just uh, lay down. You don't want them to. You want them to play their best game. You want them to give you everything that you got, because that's what prepares you for the next game or moving on. Being that you guys face them in the midweek, I'm sure there might be some differences with pitching, getting to see like their weekend guys and kind of I mean, their they're Friday night guys is good. I mean, he, there's no doubt about it. They wouldn't have got through their championship if he wasn't any good. So, I mean, going into it, they, uh, you know, a lot of similarities of what they go through. I mean, there's not you, in baseball, you can't really hide somebody or trick somebody. You got multi, you got medias, you got uh, videos, you got all kinds of things that you have at your disposal, which we do. And uh, I think that's the biggest going forward. That's, that really helps both teams. John, in 22, you were the freshman led by a bunch of veteran employees. Now the, the role's kind of reversed and you're the veteran. Kind of talk about the difference that exists. Um, yeah, I think, you know, I got asked about ex expectations a second ago. Um, for as far as leadership goes, you, you got to carry yourself in a bit of a different way. Um, last year, you know, dealt with some attitude issues and, you know, leadership problems, and this year, being able to, to deal with adversity better and to, to carry yourself in a way that the younger guys can see and um, really follow, that's, that's been really important. Um, and I think uh, making sure that they understand that at the end of the day, it's, we're, we're playing the same game that we played all year. Um, you know, no game's too big, no moment's too big, just getting back to releases and you know, controlling your breaths um, and you know, just making sure that they, they feel comfortable and doing the things that, that we've been doing all year. So what about for you? Obviously, you've been around this program for a while with your brother. Just how cool it'll be this weekend at these postseason games. Oh yeah, it's. I mean, it's awesome. I mean, anytime you get to play it in front of your home crowd, it's awesome. And now that it's postseason, it's 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 really cool. It's something surreal. I mean, even with my brother, I mean, we never got to witness it. But I mean, I got to witness that twenty two team make a run. But now we get to start it in Omaha or start it in Norman to make it to Omaha. So I mean, yeah, it's it's something special and it's something that I'm gonna definitely take in this weekend and just play with all we got and we'll see what happens. Just how impressive is it for ORU to you know, make it to Omaha last year? They lose a lot of their key guys, and uh, you know, just to be back here at this moment. For them, it's really good. I mean, don't, don't for anybody to get to Omaha. It's just not just them, but uh, uh, shows you what kind of leadership they have. I mean, Ryan does a great job, and their staff. We know them well. Uh, see them on the recruiting trail. We have a good relationship with them. Um, you know, a lot of our guys know those guys, and so it's. Uh, you know, they, they do it the right way, and, and they'll continue to do it the right way because he's a good coach. And so, uh, look, you know, just blessed to, to get to, to play those guys and and, uh, uh, and looking forward to it. Skip, at this time of the year, what are the challenges to have hitting and pitching?
pitching at a high level, you must win games now? The, uh, I don't know if there's challenge. We have magic dust that we, it's in my locker that we just throw on top of them. They become different players. They become professional players, not amateur players. No, it's uh, the difficult is really, it, it's like a, uh, we talk about a lot. It's like a, a box of BBs. When you get to postseason, you get to the conference term, you get to postseason, and you're in a box of BBs, is, they can go several different directions. But when, when they're all together and you're, you, got, you got them doing it, pulling for one thing, that's a, that gets powerful. And so I think that's been the biggest difference going in is you have a lot of guys going different directions, and we do a good job of trying to keep those guys together and uh, understanding what it really takes to uh, move forward.